Fallout Retrospective Fallout with Friends The idea for Fallout 76 arose out of a desire to implement multiplayer into the Fallout 4 engine. Eventually, a decision was made to develop this as a standalone project. Development commenced shortly before the release of Fallout 4 at Bethesda Game Studios in Austin, Texas. Fallout 76 is the first Bethesda game to use tools for automatic bounced lights. Prior to this, all Bethesda games had their bounced lights manually placed by hand. Because the engine of Fallout 4 was tailored to only handle one player, the developers experienced difficulties modifying the engine to handle multiple players. Whether or not the game should have human non-player characters was a large debate in the developer team. The developers agreed on a consensus to try an experimental approach in which other players took the role of non-player characters. According to Mark Tardiff in June 2019, content containing living human characters was initially not even on radar for Bethesda, and community feedback was the driving force behind the development of the Wastelanders update. However, lead designer Ferret Baudouin stated in August 2020 that, from the beginning of development, some developers disagreed with the idea of excluding human NPCs in the base game. Despite this, there were a number of logistical issues that prevented human NPCs from appearing at launch, as it would have further complicated an already difficult technical process. Baudouin said that it was actually on the radar, from a very early point. Despite the initial lack of human non-player characters, Fallout 76 has more voice lines than any previous game in the series, and this record was broken even before the Wastelanders update. It also has more holotapes and notes than all previously released Fallout games added together. Several voice actors for the game used Governor Jim Justice as reference for replicating a West Virginian accent. Specifically, a YouTube video of Justice discussing the state's budget was highlighted by voice director Cal L. Bogdanove. For the Wastelanders update, Bethesda Softworks actually went over their budget for voice actors, as human non-player characters were being added to the game. According to Bethesda's Pete Hines, the developers and writers took the lore and canon of the Fallout series very seriously when developing the game, which is why there were no living raiders before the Wastelanders update, with the Scorch taking the role of human-like enemies. He commented, why would there be super mutants, or the Brotherhood of Steel? How does that all fit and hold together? There's absolutely reasons and explanations for how all that ties to Fallout 76.